Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Today in my kitchen, I, I have overestimated all last week in cooking, so we're having leftovers because now that my both of my sons are out of the house for the summer, um, I, I, I have cooked way too much like meat and stuff. So we're, we're having leftovers tonight, but a good friend of ours who farms in this community had some produce that um, he wanted to give me. And nobody eats squash here but me, but I wanted to show you how I stew my squash. Um, I've cut up about a fourth of a large Vidalia onion, just kind of cubed it. This is not rocket science at all, and it's a really good side, especially this time of year, to try to utilize what's coming in. So I'm just gonna kind of cut these uh, squash. I know I've kind of been off the radar, but uh, busy with kids and getting moved into college and all that fun stuff and then adjusting to empty nest, which is weird. And I definitely have not been cooking as much, although, you know, I've cooked supper and stuff, but it's been stuff I've vlogged before. So anyway, as I, blog, as I cook stuff that I haven't vlogged, I will try to vlog that if anybody is interested. I have one zucchini and three squash. So this will be just a small mess, what my grandmother used to call it, just a mess of, of uh, squash. And I'm going to stew this, and then, you know, day two or three with the leftovers, I'll put some cheese on it and melt that, maybe some crumbled up um, uh, Ritz crackers over top, kind of like a little miniature casserole. But as I said, I'm the only one that eats these. Now I will cover these in water and then I'll cook them on the stove until they're just tender. I don't like to cook them to death. I kind of like my squash, and this is just my preference, I like for it to still have a little squeakiness against my teeth, if you know what I mean. I don't want to cook it to death. I've washed these, by the way. And as soon as I get this together, I'll show you how I season them. A little salt, a little pepper, and I love dill, fresh dill, and I have some fresh dill. If the rain doesn't kill it all, we've had a ton of rain lately, and my dill is just about gone. We'll do some pickles tomorrow before it does get all gone. But anyway, I put salt and pepper, probably a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna shake some on there for right now. Can add a little more later. And I put about a teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon, teaspoon, whatever you like. And then I put about two to three tablespoons of real butter to stew it in, depending on how much squash I've got. And then my secret ingredient is, for me, is just a tiny bit of fresh dill, which I've washed. And I just kind of tear that up and put it in the top and this goes onto the stove and I can cook this any way I want to because I'm the only one that eats it. Anyway, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the pot just so you know how much water to put over it. I just barely cover it, okay? And I cook it, no lid on it, probably about 20 minutes until it's tender. So there you have it, stewed squash from the garden. Y'all enjoy cooking, cutting up, keeping it real.